Good people of YouTube, my name is Spanner. Welcome to Conquests of the Longbow. Okay, we've just finished Conquests of Camelot. Uh, that was about King Arthur and the quest for the Holy Grail. This one is about Robin Hood. Now, um, I can't remember if I've ever played this game or not. I think I did. Maybe... 10 or a bit more years ago or something when I was uh, into a lot of old DOS games. I think I played this. I don't remember anything though. So this might be more interesting than uh, Conquest of Camelot. So let's see. Uh, introduction. Ooh, got some nice tunes right off the bat. So will we get any sort of introduction or it's just the uh, the credits at the start? I mean, I am enjoying the music, but... And it picked up again, nice. In the year of our most gracious lords, 1193, good King Richard the Lionheart sailed across the sea. The infidels he had besieged, but Jerusalem was lost. Bloody was the Third Crusade, dearly did it cost. Long and dangerous was the road, enemies on all sides. Hidden by the night he rode, cloaked in merchant's guise. But in the realm of Austria, King Leopold did reign. He swore to capture Lionheart, or else to have him slain. And there goes the king. Mighty oaths did Richard swear at this bay's treachery. They bound him like a roaring lion to face his enemy. King Leopold was filled with glee to have so rich a prize. His laughter filled the stony hall, his greed rose to the skies. One hundred thousand golden marks on Richard's head he laid, and Lionheart his prisoner until the ransom paid. I have no fear, King Richard said. My people love me well. They'll raise the ransom that you ask and damn your soul to hell. And when in England Prince John heard of his brother's golden fee, 
he swore a dark and holy oath that he would never go free. So the days have sorely passed, and lion hearts does wait, as Black Prince John and traitorous dogs conspire to seal his fate. While Robin Hood in green Sherwoods an outlaw's life does lead, falsely charged by a man corrupt to satisfy their greeds. At your side, companions true, Little John is one. Alan a Dale, the troubadour, and much the miller's son. Will Scarlet with his good yew bow, Fri Friar Tuck to pray a man, Bold Robin Hood to lead them all, and so we shall begin. And here we are. Glorious, a glorious cave in Sher in the forest of Sherwood, I assume. Okay, so uh, I tried this a little bit earlier. So right click changes the thing we can do. What is that? Tis my own horn. Let's take it. We have a, a ransom over here. 31 outlaws. Score 50 of 7,325. It is kind of tuck to see that my fire is kept lit and my cave warm. I've made of beds of lashed wood and leather with a fur covering for cold nights. This chest contains my own small store of money. Whatever else I gain from lightening the overfilled purse of a rich man is turned over to Friar Tuck, who serves as our tr trusted treasurer. Should I take it with me? I'll count my money as I empty the chest. There's something about silver in a purse that makes a day seem brighter. So, how much money do we have? Is it our score? Is that our money? Do we have 100 monies? I have all my money and I have no need to carry that small but heavy chest around. Can I take the fire? I cannot think of a good reason to burn myself. I have had enough sleep. It's time to be about and doing things. There is no answer. Let's speak with the fire. There is no answer. I have no need to shoot at that. Okay, so we can look at, interact, talk and shoot. I don't see anything else of interest in this cave, so let's leave. Good morning. We've all broken our fasts, but mayhap Tuck will share some of his fish with you. From the gaunt and starving look of our good friar, I fear you'll be left begging. I'll remember that jibe when it comes time to dole out the stew tonight. Mercy on me, Tuck, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. You know, the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see there's no point hanging about here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. I have a feeling I won't remember any of these voices in the future. But let's carry on. What have you, little John? I thought I'd head to the Overlook and see if anyone interest, of interest comes along Watling Street. Tuck says our treasury could use a boost in... Is that true? Sorry to say it is, Robin. We're down to but a few hundred marks. Well, I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. Our bard, a lad of lively wit and golden voice, Alan Adale. The redoubtable Tuck, though a 
A crystal friar, and therefore a man of gods, he is renowned for his skill with the swords. Friar Tuck is in charge of, of the campfires and cooking. We have good clear water for our camp. Nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Sherwood Forest surrounds us. More good Nottingham sandstone. Our camp tables are crude, but they serve their purpose. Okay, hello there, Alan. Pardon me, I'm just working on a song in honor of Tuck's fine cooking, and I need to concentrate. We must hope for a rich abbot or a greedy baron to come along and replenish our treasury. Then you'd better spend some time on the overlook watching the roads, or you know, John will tire of it soon enough. Domine dirige nos. Uh, let's follow this guy over here. Practice might be interesting. There's no one here. Weren't you practicing? Uh, what is this blue thing? Am I just going to get lost here? Guy who ran off to practice, where are you? Ah, here they are. Hello, Master Hood. A glorious day for the bow. I've set the garlands for practice. Come and join us. This new lad here is Simon, and he has yet to see a sample of your skills. It is a fine day for shooting. Tell me, what brings you to the forest, young Simon? I shot a rabbit and took it to my family for supper. I was going to make a pouch from the skin, but the forester saw it drying and saw the mark of the arrow in it. He wanted the bribes to pretend he hadn't noticed, but I was so angry I knocked, I knocked him down. He, I was declared an outlaw the very same day, and my father bade me come to you and serve you. It was your father's idea. Nay, it was mine. I would have come at once, but I was afraid for my family. I wouldn't leave until my father ordered me to go. Will, are we? I, a couple of men are keeping an eye upon the lad's parents. Good. Did I make you welcome, Simon? If you can spear a rabbit with an arrow, you'll be a useful man indeed. I'll try, sir. Truly, I will. So... How does this work? Methinks this would be a good day to wager against you. Your shooting is terrible. So... How do I reload? Ah. Like this, maybe? Nice. Reloads. So just aim the arrow exactly at the thing. Or maybe... Oh, there's a, a wind mark here. Uh, slightly up and to the left. Oh, Robin, too much ale has blurred your vision and lost you an arrow. Uh, do I have limited arrows? Ah, uh, higher. Too high. Do I have no arrows left? Oh, the wind is... The wind has changed. No winds. Come on. Damn, this is harder than it looks. A masterful shot, Robin. Oh, didn't I hit it? Hold fast, Robin, while I collect the arrows. Really, it's not in the place I want it to be. 
Come on, it's right in, right in the middle. Right, right in the middle, man. Right in the middle. So do I need to do anything? Can I just leave? Keep shooting if you like. We finished our practicing for the day. You see now the value of practice. Aye, that I do, sir. Okay, let's see. Let's go this way. I hope I can't get lost here. I don't think there's any reason to go this way. Let's go meet little John. And is this anything? No. Oh, where's Alan? You've wasted no time devouring that fish, I see. I find that a full belly greatly improves the magnitude of my prayers and gives me one more thing to give thanks for. Okay, this is the same dialogue here. This place looks familiar. I'm just going to go left. No little John. Where is he? Nothing. And this forest is too big. And Robin could definitely walk a little, a little bit faster. Um, okay, so this is the overlook, I think. Ah, there's little John. Glad you decided to come. I saw a sheriff's, a sheriff's man head up the road a while back. But I have a mind to go around the widow's cottage and say hello to her sons before they leave for Nottingham again. You might want to you might want to stay and watch for the fellow to return in case he's up to, to mischief. Thanks for the warning. Mayhap I'll stop by and see the widow myself later on. She'd like that. So will the boys. Until later then. Okay, we're uh, on the lookout for someone. Do I just stand here? And do nothing? Oh! Who are you? Whoa! Stand fast! A roint, move aside, I say, in the name of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Nay, please, I've done nothing wrong. Don't let him take me, please. Release the woman. She's my prisoner. Step aside, I say. I don't think so. Oh, oh I did not have to aim. Oh, bless you, sir. To whom do I owe my salvation? 
You've surely heard the name of Robin Hoods? Robin Hood, then it's true what they say of you. I shall be forever grateful. Oh, they were, they were all standing by, apparently. What shall we do with this wor worthless carrion? I care not. Drag him away for the wolves and ravens. Oh, I wanted to loot the corpse. Bless you and all your men. I must go now. I can't... Where's the walk symbol? She hurries down Watling Street as fast as her feet can carry her. No, I don't want to go down the street, I want to go back to the Overlook. How does this work? This way, maybe? Ah, here we are. So should I keep my lookout? Or go and meet that widow? We can wait here for, for a little while, perhaps? There's no one on Watling Street now. Yes, I can see that, Robin. I also have eyes. Nothing's really happening. Now, um... Is it possible that I could fail this game when I reach the end? Uh, you can do that in Camelot, but what about this one? Do I need the full score to win? Is it like the ransom I need to pay for King Richard that I'm collecting and... Uh, do do I need the full score? I might need the full score. Uh, that can be annoying since if I miss something, that may not be possible. We'll see though. Okay, nothing's going on. Let's go this way. Where is this so-called widow? Yeah, this forest is definitely complicated. I could probably get lost here. Still nothing. Which way did little John go? Do I just go back to camp? Well, I just... I'm here. I don't know where this widow is. Let's try and go straight down. Or let's let's go right here. What happens if I go right here? Is this something? Some berries. Okay, something is definitely up here. There's nothing I need from this part of the forest. I might need to explore the forest. We might need to map it out. Yep, 
Yeah, there's a lot here. Okay, I think I'll end this episode here for now. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of Conquests of the Longbow. And as usual, don't miss the next episode, because I won't. I'll see you all next time.